In 1896, two students entered a Swiss university. One was Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius. The other was a Serbian woman named Maleva Maric. Despite breaking major barriers in history, many overlook this scientist, mathematician, and first wife to Albert Einstein, who not only contributed to Einstein's groundbreaking work, but just as importantly fought sexism in Europe. Decades later, her letters, acquaintances, memories, and biographies were published, revealing the brilliant woman that Maleva Maric truly was. Mileva Maric was born in Titel, Serbia in 1875. Her father, Miloš Maric, received the job of the Minister of Education and was able to get Mileva into physics lectures for boys and an all-boys school in order for her to achieve academic success. Mileva completed high school in Zurich, Switzerland. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879. He was a curious and undisciplined boy who hated the strictness of German schools. So Albert, like Maleva, finished high school in Switzerland. Both students were admitted to the physics and mathematics section of the Polytechnic Institute in Zurich in October of 1896. Maleva was the only woman in this section of the institute and the fifth woman to ever study at the school. All of March's professors were males. At this time, women were not encouraged, if even allowed, to study sciences and math. Albert and Maleva became close friends. While Einstein attended few lectures, Maleva was dedicated to her studies and even helped Albert stay focused and guided his studies, as we learn from letters between him and Maric. In August of 1899, Albert wrote to Maleva, I find the work we do together very good, healing, and also easier. And on October 2nd, 1899, he wrote, I miss having you nearby to kindly keep me in check and prevent me from meandering. Many of Einstein's letters are kept at the Albert Einstein archives at Hebrew University in Israel. At the end of their classes in 1900, Maleva and Albert had similar grades. When it came time to graduate, Einstein barely passed with a 4.9 average out of 6, but still getting his diploma. Marich, however, received an average of 4, and she was failed. On December 13, 1900, they submitted their first article about capillary, signed only under Albert's name. Nevertheless, they both referred to this article as their combined work. Maleva wrote to her friend, Aline Savage, on December 20th, 1900, We will send a private copy to Boltzmann to see what he thinks, and I hope he will answer us. Similarly, Albert wrote to Maleva on April 4th, 1901, saying that his friend Michele Besso visited his uncle on my behalf, Professor Ung, one of the most influential physicists in Italy, and gave him a copy of our article. Radmila Milentijevic, a history professor at City College in New York, suggests that Maleva likely wanted to help Albert create a name for himself since he had been struggling to find a job. Do Christic, a physics professor at Oljabaljana University, claimed that because of the bias against women at the time, a publication signed by a woman would have been viewed as less credible. But nobody made it more clear that March and Einstein worked together when Albert wrote to her on March 27th, 1901, How happy I will be when the two of us together will have brought our work on relative motion to a victorious conclusion. Unexpectedly, Maleva became pregnant with Albert's child, and Einstein was still unemployed. Due to an unpredictable future, Maleva took her second attempt at the oral exam in July of 1901 at the Polytechnic. Again, Maleva was failed when she got the mark of 4 out of 6, and she was forced to give up on her studies. Maleva gave birth to their daughter, Lysyrl, in January of 1902. It is believed that she was given up for adoption. In June of 1902, Albert got a job at the Patent Office in Bern, Switzerland, and he married Maleva on January 6, 1903. On May 14, 1904, their son Hans Albert was born. In 1905, Albert published five articles, one on the photoelectric effect, two on Brownian motion, one on special relativity, and the famous formula E equals mc squared. He also commented on 21 scientific papers and submitted his thesis on the dimensions of molecules. Biographer Peter Mitchell Moore writes, After completing the article about the basis of special relativity, Maleva checked the article again and again and then mailed it. Around this time, Albert stated, 
For everything that I achieved in my life, I must thank Maleva. She is my genius inspirer, my protector against the hardships of life and science. Without her, my work would never have been started nor finished. In the book, Maleva and Albert Einstein, their love and scientific collaboration, Doe Kristich writes about Maleva's brother, Milosh Maric Jr. Milosh described how the young married couple would sit together at the table and at the light of a kerosene lamp, they would work together on physics problems. Milosh Jr. spoke of how they calculated, wrote, read, and debated. Furthermore, Maleva's father claimed that she told him, we finished an important scientific work which will make my husband known around the world. In Desanka Trabudovic Jurek's biography on Maleva, she mentions a party hosted by Maleva's brother, at which Albert declared, I need my wife. She solves for me all my mathematical problems. In 1908, the couple worked with Conrad Habicht to build an ultra-sensitive voltmeter, an instrument that measures electrical potential difference between two points in an electric circuit. It was registered under the einstein habicht patent. When Habicht asked why Maleva did not include her name, she replied, Why? The two of us are but one stone meaning she felt as though she and Einstein would receive equal credit for the work, even though it was not signed under her name. Albert was later offered his first academic career in Zurich in 1909, becoming a professor there in 1912. It is known that Maleva was still assisting him at this point, considering that eight pages of Albert's lecture notes are in her handwriting, as well as a letter to Max Planck who had been communicating with Albert about scientific theories. Their second son, Edouard, was born on July 28, 1910, and in 1912, Albert started an affair with his cousin, Elsa Lewenthal. Then the marriage fell apart. Maleva agreed to divorce on the condition that if Albert received a Nobel Prize, she would get the money. So when Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921, Marich received the prize money which she used to buy two apartment buildings. However, life after the divorce was quite difficult for Marich. In 1930, her son Edouard was diagnosed with schizophrenia and lived the rest of his life in institutions. Due to medical expenses, Maleva struggled financially and lost both buildings. She survived on the alimony Albert sent, ran a boarding house, and gave lessons for money. A friend of Maleva's, Milana Boda, told a Serbian newspaper in 1929 to speak with Maleva to find out about the origin of special relativity since she had been directly involved. On June 13, 1929, Maleva wrote to Aline Savage, Such publications in newspapers do not suit my nature at all, but I believe that all that was for Milana's joy, and that she probably thought that this would also be a joy for me as I can only suppose that she wanted to help me receive some public rights with regard to Einstein. At another attempt to bring Maleva into the spotlight, Hans Albert's first wife, Frida, attempted to publish letters that Maleva and Albert had sent to their sons. However, she was blocked in court by the Einstein's estate executors, who were trying to preserve the Einstein's myth. Fortunately, Hans Albert's second wife, Elizabeth, kept about 500 letters between Maleva and Albert, some of which were eventually published. Maleva March died on August 4, 1948, from a stroke. These letters and testimonies show that Maleva March and Albert Einstein worked together from their school days up to 1914. March was the first to recognize Albert's talent. Without her, he would likely have never become the genius he is remembered as today. Maleva was a brilliant scientist who abandoned her own goals to work with Einstein and to contribute to his success. Yet, Marich's efforts weren't for nothing. Her work with Einstein has tremendously influenced our scientific and mathematical understanding of the world. She was able to break into the profession of male-dominated science and mathematics, opening a door and inspiring others to follow in her footsteps. Maleva Marich is one minority among many who fought for what they believed in and broke barriers that couldn't be rebuilt, forever changing the world.